Hello, welcome to the channel. This video is about two infinitives and gerunds. Let's get started. This time we are talking about gerunds. Let's take a look. What is gerunds? When we use an ing form in present participle of a verb and function as a color blue, we call it a gerund. Example, I enjoy books books as a color blue i enjoy reading reading as a gerund changing from a color red read to become a color blue reading so i enjoy reading gerunds is function as a color blue so what can we do with a color blue there's a couple of situation that you can consider the first one let's take a look we can use gerund, the color blue, as the subject of a sentence when we talk about action in a general way. For example, traveling is a great way to learn about the world. Traveling is a gerund, changing from the color red travel and changing to become traveling. It's a great way to learn about the world. Then what's next? We can use the color blue as an object and the example is like that. She loves hiking every weekend. What well, actually she loves hiking. So hiking is a gerund changing from the verb color red hike to become hiking. We can also use a gerund after a prepositions. To form a prepositional phrase, you have to have a preposition plus a blue, and gerund could be used as this blue. Let's take a look. I'm thinking about going to Manchester. About going. Okay, what is actually you are thinking about? Okay, going to Manchester is something you're thinking about. I'm interested. What is actually your interest? in seeing European countries and sometimes we could also use the gerund as part of a noun noun let's take a look what is it in common nouns or noun noun example a traveling companion traveling is a gerund but its function as a color yellow telling you more about what kinds of companion a shopping mall Shopping is a gerund telling you more about what kinds of more we are having. Similar to infinitives, gerund also didn't affected by different tenses. Let's take a look. We usually avoid traveling at the weekends. Simple present tense or even pleasant perfect continuous tense I have been practicing asking for directions in English with different tenses. Gerund will remain unchanged. We mind you, never use an infinitive after a prepositions. It's simply because after prepositions, we always follow a color blue. If you are using infinitive, it violates the grammar rules. Let's take a look. We never use infinitives after prepositions. Prepositional phase was made by a prepositions plus a blue the word too we have to be cautioned because sometimes it could be a prepositions sometimes it's part of a to infinitive like this i am looking forward to visit canada looking forward to is a phase of verbs and the usage is looking forward to something so we have to say, I'm looking forward to visiting Canada. And there are some verbs that always follow a gerund. Let's take a look at what are they. Admit, fancy, mind, avoid, consider, finish, forgive, miss, practice, delay, imagine, prevent, deline, involve, quit, dislike, keep on, risk. Enjoy, mention, excuse, suggest. Alright, that's all for today. See you next time. 
like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Goodbye.